All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to daily update of my 1000 day challenge. This is day 461, 61, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, in terms of balance wise, we're actually up a little bit, but that's purely based on the experimental trade setup. Took a couple of long setup, and then when like I mentioned yesterday, both Ethereum took in favor, but uh, Ling didn't win in favor, and I think Bitcoin still range bounding at the moment in time. All right, so generally the market wise looks to be going up while Bitcoin is taking a breather and consolidating there to me is a very good sign. So I'm still bullish in terms of Bitcoin in terms of the next coming for November and December ahead. But bearing in mind that there could without a doubt be strong pullbacks, especially for specific altcoins as well. All right, and when it comes to the US market itself, a traditional financial market, like I mentioned at all time high, they are still pushing towards higher high. I do expect some pullback to come, but do expect that pullback may not be as low as what you get probably a week or two weeks ago in that sense, unless there's a very huge change in terms of sentiment. But generally, the year end period is a very strong bullish period until maybe towards the near the start of the year, whereby there could be some tax issue whereby some people may choose to cash on stuff like that. All right, then for ASH itself, China market looks to be relatively flat, consolidating for the Z. Well, of course, things could flip the other way around just as well. Okay, and on the other hand, for Bitcoin itself, ASH, even though there was so-called strong sell off earlier today, if you look in terms of, say, the uh, candlestick chart, you can see there was a very nice push to the downside, perhaps liquidating those people who are putting two types of stop loss itself over here. So those have been liquidated, but otherwise, most people to me should have at least put a stop loss over here, so that should be fine. So what I'm drawing over here is a potential setup that we do break again this high, which is at 64.3k region itself, I'll enter a buy stop order, and the stop loss will be using this 50 simple moving average on the 4 hourly chart. So if that happens, I'll be able to, I will want to long it, a very nice piece to real setup. Seeing how high we'll go, I'll use a very tight trailing stop loss in these spaces. Otherwise, it's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop by your comments below. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.